All right, y'all, JT here with a quick video on the Traxxas XRT. So you guys know that this is a great performing truck, but one of the problems that a lot of us have is fitting larger lipos in here. Now, what I currently have in here is my SMC 8200 milliamps, and they actually fit perfectly in here. It is a tight fit even with this on it when you strap this up, but they do fit in here. But the problem comes is when you want to actually install larger lipo batteries. When you see even right now, Sometimes this can get in the way and you guys know if you're bashing hard, sometimes this clip can come loose. So this is an 8200 milliamp LiPo. And then, of course, I have one of their larger ones, which is a 9500 milliamp LiPo. And it can fit in here pretty good if you set it in here like this and get this down. I still have the foam spacers inside, but then again, you can't close this up. And if you try to squeeze it down the other way, it's just not going to work because... It is limited because of this right here to actually try to strap over and keep the battery down. So there is a solution for that. So I'm going to put a link down below in the description um, to these particular straps. And you can find these on the SMC LiPo battery um, website, which I'll put a link down below in the description. So basically, he's going to give you everything you need up in there. You'll get the straps, you'll get the screws, and you'll also get plates for each side to put this in here. And it's gonna cost you 35 bucks for it. So basically what you wanna do is put this down in here. And of course, he gives you a drill bit with the two if you wanna use a drill bit. Um, and you wanna kinda of mark, I'm gonna turn this light on just so you guys can see. It's a little dirty now. I had this at the Monster Jam and stuff. But you can literally mark where you wanna put each one of these holes here in here. And then of course, um, you want to go ahead and take the straps and put the straps in, and I'll show you guys that in just a second. But you definitely want to mark this so you'll know kind of where to drill the six holes to put this um, tray down in here to allow you to not have to use this anymore, but go ahead and use Velcro straps for it. And when you do that, of course, it'll eliminate this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this off um, and put that on there. Now, if you guys don't have a drill, um, to use this on, you have a body room, you can do that as, as well. You just need to make sure that you mark where each one of these holes is going to go. And then once you get that in there, of course, he gives you the screws and bolts and everything for it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually remove this real quick. All right. So once you basically to get this battery flip out, this top tray part flipped out. It's just two screws that's underneath the chassis and you can just unscrew it and pull them right out and then go ahead and screw that back in because you guys see there that there's screws there for that. So what you want to do is after you do that, what you want to do is the XRT part is actually going to be facing down because this actually um, sits up just a little bit. So when you put your Velcro straps on here, um, you'll be able to move them around and have a little bit of wiggle room. But you want to place this in here before you put your straps on and they give you an included drill bit with it. So there you can just hold this down. And remember safety first, guys. Wear your goggles. I know everyone's not wearing them, wear them, but wear your safety goggles. And go ahead and drill these six holes for it. And then you'll also see, if you look real close, there's little slits in there for you to put your actual nut on one side and then screw it from the other side. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get these drilled in. And then I'm going to get these Velcro straps. And also with the Velcro straps, make sure that you have the straps positioned the way you want them positioned. And by that, I do mean whether you want the straps to open up from the inside or from the outside with that. And then I recommend if you um, have one to get a longer strap too, if you want to strap one um, from long ways like this as well. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get these uh, strapped up in here real quick. All right, y'all, got this all secured in. So I put the straps, of course, facing that way out there. And this will allow me to actually fit bigger batteries in it. And there they are with the 9,500 milliamps fit up in here. So you do want to make sure that you have these straps kind of adjusted. I probably need to adjust this back a little bit more so I can secure this strap down. Um, but that's a way to fit larger batteries into your XRT. And I'm pretty sure these will work really good on the X Max. The X Max battery tray is a little bit larger than the XRT, but these will definitely keep this. You guys see, I'm going to, don't do this, pulling it by the wire. It'll definitely keep that um, secure in here and keep that from flopping out and allow for bigger batteries. I know you guys are going to be doing speed runs with your XRT and stuff. And it's a lot better than I left this one in here than this other side because I told you guys before and I showed you. 
that on this other side it is limited with the battery space because of this tray here for us. So Traxxas probably should have did this from the beginning, but it's fine. We have a remedy for this. Uh, like I said, I'll put a link down in the description. It's going to cost you about $35 um, for this, for this tray up in here. And then you get the straps and then also the drill bit for it and all the screws and everything you need to install this. So don't forget to like, subscribe, put your comments down below and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.